from Cedarburg Public Library Radio. Here's Jack. Here's Jack. Live from the community room of the Cedarburg Public Library in West Bend, Wisconsin. I thought I'd appease you this week. All right. It's in Cedarburg, actually. It's the Jack Hankey Show. 56 minutes of radio jacularity oh, and God. four minutes of commercials Shoot. coming to you every week at this time. Our show is made possible today by the Java House on Washington Avenue. Charming atmosphere, lovely conversations, caffeinating Cedarburg since 1992. And that's a lot of years of caffeinating, if you ask me. We also receive kind support from Mr. Bob's Under the Bridge, fostering a community of dignity, compassion, and friendship by providing basic necessities such as clothing and hygiene products to the homeless and those who need support in Milwaukee and the surrounding community. Whew, all right, give me some oxygen. Here we go. Jack's guests today are Maddie and Chris Hermione of the Union House Cedarburg and singer-songwriters Whitney Clapper and Demetra Prohaska. I got all that right, didn't I? Everybody? No one's throwing fruit. Or I'm doing good. Okay. <laughs> Scott Roush is working the audio plumbing today. Thank you, Scott. And uh, no Mert and Chris, our professional in-person audience, is uh, taking the week off, and I will dock their checks appropriately. All right. Uh, and little old me, I'm Jeff Messerman. Now your host in mind, a man who needs no introduction, but I'll do it anyway. Here's Jack. Doesn't he sound like an old 1950s pitch man? He's so <laughs> perfectly smarmy. You are smarmy. That's a good word for you. I He's slippery and smarmy. I'm hoping to level up and sell cars one day. You better level up. <laughs> you got a long way up. <laughs> you got a lot of growth. Yeah, today uh, Java House would like you to know to follow them on Facebook. They have a new Facebook page with the new logo, Lisa says. Okay. And um, great Italian roast. Better than Italy. Italy. <laughs> right? Italy could only dream of doing an Italian roast this good, really. Right. <laughs> yes. Can- cannoli? <laughs> yes. Oh, cannoli. No. Cannoli, cannoli. Cannoli, cannoli. But we have the there, fantastic have- cookies oh. from the best cookie producer in town on Main Street in Washington Avenue in Cedarburg. I'm waiting for the commercial Because break. they're nice. <laughs> I'm going in. And they're nice to the people who come in. <laughs> Unlike some other cookie shops in Cedarburg. Oh, hello. Hey, I'll tell you what. No respect. No respect. <laughs> what the hell? You don't have to worry about it. If Whitney Clapper can get kicked out of there, anybody can get kicked out of there, I'll tell you. She is an angel, and they kicked her ass out of there when Boom. she was in high school. Man. Not my proudest moment. <laughs> were, you, were you smoking cigs or something in the corner over there? What'd you do? You've known me for a long time. You know how much trouble I can get into. Oh, yeah. I know you don't have any taste <laughs> she she went to a, a school dance with my son at one time oh boy and she's still living that down not the i think one that's time. i think that's more embarrassing than getting kicked out of the downtown <laughs> door to tell you the truth will was the most perfect prom date ever period is, is, will, is will tuned in today <laughs> he is he's in okay. actually in south I'm just, carolina I'm just buttering today him up. Oh, god. hi will <laughs> most magical night of my life oh god <laughs> oh, don't tell your husband right <laughs> he knows <it's> <laughs> got nowhere to go but up right yeah. so java house is rocking yeah and we got exciting guests here today we do we have a full house this we, we do. haven't had the house this full in a long time haven't been allowed to but we're gonna bend things a little today you, you are bent, That's right. for God's sakes. I uh, want to remind everyone that this coming Thursday, so the next one, the day before Friday the 13th, which oh. will be Thursday the 12th. We're getting another one of those. I thought we did one of those just recently. Well, one, at least one a year, oh, every man. year. Oh, all right. Um, the Cedarburg Chamber of Commerce 2020 Annual Awards, the only one that's worth mentioning is celebrated Cedarburg Citizen Award is going to Ross Mann Rintelman. That's right. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, oh, who doesn't? Who doesn't love Ross? <laughs> yeah, he's just like me. Everybody loves both of us. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Did she just say shit? Shit? <laughs> I can't well, tell, your, I can't I, tell I, with the mask. That's your job. I'm not masking. You're masking your shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, you're try, and you're faking sure. See, this is why I got kicked out of all the profanity. <laughs> you will not get kicked out here, I promise you. It takes a lot. The, the, the I mean, we still have a good 50 minutes. So. The host might. Yes. <laughs> the chief engineer. Near might, but but you're you're all right. Um, yeah, so that's Thursday the twelfth. There's going to be a fir- virtual presentation 
Um, there will be a smaller event, uh, a reception at the Cultural Center at 7 o'clock. Um, but Ross is the man, and it's great he to is. see him getting some recognition, more Fantastic. recognition. Yeah. When is he on now? Here, noon, Monday through Friday. Every soon. You weren't sure. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> no, say you weren't too on. sure. Oh God! All right. No, it's so just, sometime uh, in the next year. Yeah, he'll, he'll start at noon. <laughs> we'll get him back at noon. He was on at five for a while, and that no, wasn't working. So uh, we're gonna shoot for noon great. and give him midday. Yep, the midday slot. All right. We should just have a Ross man day. He's welcome, a, Ross man. My microphones marathon. are always open. <laughs> they never close. You say that, and then you tell me the call-in thing's not working. So. Yeah, it's not working today. <laughs> okay. okay, so never mind. Sorry, Ross. Some other time. So it's the f- it, we have uh, entered a new month. It is November. All true. Do you know why November is called November? I don't. Help me. <laughs> Guide me. I don't want Lead me, Reverend. <laughs> Reverend. Do you guys know I'm an ordained minister? <laughs> It's true. That's no. false. It, no. <laughs> it's true. It, it is, is true. Real. Do you have the license? Do you have the paperwork? Uh, Get no. it out. Oh, no, oh, well, no. you should always have that with you at all times. Because no everything is electronic now. Why don't you I've have got, it on you? I've got a card in my wallet in the car. I'll get it at the break. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that many times, Reverend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's true. You're now married. Universal, Where's your card? <laughs> Universal Life Church. I became an ordained minister in order to officiate my nephew's wedding this summer. Oh. So now I can do baptisms and funerals and blessings, too. But you're not going to swear in the middle of those services. Right. Oh, hey, in a, D- in a, the drop of a hat. DVD. <laughs> the drop of a hat. <laughs> yes. Holy shit, you're married. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Hope it works out for you. <laughs> you know, you got a 50% chance. Never oh, mind. Lord. Oh, Lord. Work it out. Let's cut the cake. This just went south so fast. <laughs> he, got, <laughs> he got into it just for the cake, too. As far as That's I right. Heard. <laughs> really into bacon. Well, if I'm they, only here for the cookies. If they, so. I was going to say, if they had Union House cookies, I'd officiate a wedding ceremony for free. <laughs> for Maybe the next uh, show. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> Chris from the Union House has spoken, and we're all listening. Whatever the, the cookie man says is good with me. And drinks. I had a great FN drink there last night. Did you? Yes. Outstanding. What what would they what do you call it? I didn't call it. They call what it. What do they call it? <laughs> you a daiquiri. Did. Right, Chris? Oh, classic. You had the Seattle last night. What's that? The Seattle. Uh but just uh, daiquiri. So it's a it's a sage daiquiri, basically. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, mm-hmm. that sounds good. Yeah, yeah I could even good. smell the sage before it's, I sampled the drink, which was outstanding. Absolutely. You know, uh, being November, it is election season, right? I'm sure you heard a thing or two. Do you know... Uh, uh, no, wait. You don't ask a question and then not give someone an answer. Oh, so you were, unaw- you were unaware that it's no. election November, season. November 3rd's a big day, but I got other reasons that little election doesn't matter. Well, I got, well I've got the most important election right here on my phone. Do you know who was elected mayor of Rabbit Hash, Kentucky? It's big. Oh, the name itself makes me want to puke. So <laughs> rabbit hash <laughs> instead of a corned beef hash, doesn't it? <laughs> well, you Austin won't be Pfeffer hash. You won't be surprised who got the uh, got the nod. Dolly a, Parton, a French bulldog named Wilbur. I've got him on my phone right here. He is the new mayor. <laughs> I'm so glad we're talking of about rabbit that. hash. Why Kentucky. did you bring that up? Well, because it's important news. I wanted to make Do. sure that people knew the election returns are in and Wilbur's in. So okay, you can stop biting your fingernails, everybody. <laughs> I'm here for you. Thank uh, you. There we go. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> November comes from the Latin nine. In the original Roman calendar, there's only 10 months in the year. November was the ninth one. Wow. Yeah. So there. So, like, they just it helped people count. <laughs> yes. Like, well, it's, uh, ah, it's November. Okay, very good. You're like All our right. own Snapple cap. <laughs> Wealth of information. <laughs> We gotta get that on you, like t-shirts. No the Jack Hankey show. Chris, You're can you make a cocktail with Snapple, and then we can have the Snapple cap of course, cocktail. Of course. The Jack Hankey Snapple cap. Snapple. Cock- <laughs> Easy to say. No, Snapple. I better watch drink, it. Drink eight of those, and then you have to Snicker say snacks. Uh huh. Snicker noodles. Oh, God. We'll get a Twitter account going. We can have a drink associated with each tweet. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Woo! I like how these, these guys are coming work. back. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and. Whitney, you should know better. You've been here before, so you should you should don't shake your head and shrug. I know. <laughs> uh, how, okay, November has. She thir- thought today would be different. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> I noticed a lot. <laughs> so thirty days in November. Yes, it's one of four days, four months in the calendar has thirty days. Can you name the other three? No. <laughs> You're, you're, you're absolutely useless. September. Oh, there he is. Wow, thanks. <laughs> June. July. There's a time limit. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> All right. Scott and I are team. Important, <laughs> important stuff here, considering our guests, our first guests. 
November is National Peanut Butter Lovers Month. Ooh. Ooh. Good to know. Yes, yeah. Got, yeah, got a room yeah, full yeah. of peanut butter lovers here. <laughs> <laughs> so, the critical question the is, it's not whether you believe in God or not, right. even from a reverend. It's cre- creamy or crunchy. <laughs> yeah. oh. What is it? Absolutely crunchy. Creamy. Absolutely. Who said that? Me. <laughs> <laughs> the skinny one. <laughs> she didn't hesitate. It would appear the uh, crunchy stuff is uh, working me over a little bit here. <laughs> Doc, what are you? Creamy or crunchy? Creamy. Really? Ooh, perfect. Oh, I thought you were cool. You know what's great about crunchy uh, peanut butter is that it's almost like you're getting more for your buck because it's not just creamy peanut butter. There's a bunch of extra stuff in there, too. Yeah, what is know? that extra stuff? Uh, peanuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. So, I don't know. What about Chris and Maddie? It's a both. I'm a creamy. Really? Yeah. Ah, this generation, Jack, I tell you. I tell you. These kids today. It's hopeless. It's hopeless. <laughs> Chris likes both. Yeah, you, gotta, you can't like, do both. Yeah, you get do off both. the fence, man. What about like <laughs> apples? Like yes. apples and peanut butter. You gotta go creamy if you're oh. doing a sandwich. Crunchy. Why do you have to go creamy on that? See, I switch it. I switch it. I mean, but still both. This is, <laughs> this is a renaissance man over here. He's got like. I want the best in both worlds. Is really what I want. <laughs> All right, it's at, it's also National Banana Pudding Month. We don't. Okay. Have you ever had it? <laughs> Silence. <laughs> I think we have a vote of the house here. <laughs> I, I've never had banana pudding. There's no dissent. Uh, had, you, not even a gunpoint, no. <laughs> Doc? Banana pudding? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Anybody else? Yeah, it's good. No. It's good? No. Yeah, it sounds it doesn't sound gross one. to me. <laughs> All right, then what's the best pudding? It's smart guy. The chocolate hands down. No. Banana pudding you sounds are like a, so lame. Everything just, is the easy answer for you. Banana pudding sounds like a punishment when you're a kid. Like, oh you broke that or like when, when she got kicked out of uh you know, they should have forced her to have banana pudding. <laughs> He's pointing. <laughs> aggressively, <laughs> aggressively. <laughs> and his Get face is turning beet red and he's pointing. It's all the Italian. But, I feel but so the, welcome. Yeah, thank uh, you for coming on the show. Uh, <laughs> you. <laughs> 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 it's that downtown dough. I might, I got paid before the show to uh, continue the. Uh, yes. All right. Now you you mentioned there was an election this past Tuesday. All true. But the really important thing about November third is that it it was National Sandwich Day. Ah, delicious. And okay. I celebrated. <laughs> With what? <laughs> probably, probably crunchy peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> <laughs> More than likely. Anybody have a particularly outstanding sandwich they want to brag on? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Creamy? No. <laughs> uh. No. If anything, I just have toast with peanut butter. I don't really make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. How about a wish sandwich? Oh, here it comes. Oh, boy. What is a, what is a wish uh, sandwich? Oh, shoot. Right into it. You got to do it now. You got to go. Oh, God, this is so old. <laughs> it's Doc a wish Blues sandwich Brothers. is the it's, kind of a sandwich done. where you have two slices of bread and you wish you had some meat. That's, there we go. that's an old. Bow, 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 bow. That's, an, that's an old Blues Brothers <laughs> bit. That's, uh, only you would so know old. from the 70s. You are that old. Uh, okay. What other bits of business you got there, Jack? It's it was going also, well. The third was also National Housewife Day. Now, the reason I bring that up, Ooh. who even says housewife? Is that I was going to say, that's very dangerous. No. I don't that's think more that's like a, your kind of language, your yeah. old farts. Well, uh, yeah, but I'm a house husband, so uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it works out well. Uh, Lincoln did the Gettysburg Address in November on the 19th. I, I missed it. <laughs> was it. It was only two minutes long. <laughs> oh, okay. Was he live streaming or something? I mean, what, you what? did you know that when he delivered that, he had smallpox? Jeez. What? And that's why he looked like just absolute hell. Well, well there you go. All right. Now, also, on the same day, yes. November 19th, different century, Jonestown. <laughs> Kool, Kool-Aid Day? Yeah. National Kool-Aid Day? The, the, All right. The biggest okay. mass suicide yeah. in history. 900 people followed that idiot. Yeah, well... Uh, I will refrain from all commentary. Just have a little more shot yeah. house coffee. Right. Thank you. Uh, Monopoly was introduced in November. Does anybody, do you guys like Monopoly? No. No? No? No, it's too long. It's too I was going to say, does anybody have the, have the patience to play the whole thing? <laughs> you, oh, you would. God, you got nothing going on. Always get the thimble. 
and just pass go. Thimble. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Maybe the Scotty dog. If I'm feeling, if I'm feeling dangerous, you know. Doc- there was so much judgment from you. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, 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 this is no. We, we, we perfect. This is our stick. We perfect, we've been working very hard. <laughs> I'm trying to help him. I'm trying to reform him. No he's, judgment he's from long, me. Long, yeah, yeah. You. <laughs> it's a, it's a mutual circular kind of yeah. It's a, <laughs> November birthdays, Mark Twain, Winston Churchill, two of my favorites from history, George O'Keefe, I think she was um, Michael O'Keefe's mother, <laughs> the mayor of Cedarburg, uh, Walter Cronkite, Bruce Lee, Yeah, he would be 80 if he wouldn't have died like 50 years ago. But and he still could kick both our asses. I wonder what he would look like. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what he would look like. You know, isn't that something? And I know you guys are dying to hear the last bit of November nuggets. And this one is... More serial killers are born in November than any other month. Wow, I, I think it's because I think it's because of the banana pudding. Any November birthdays in the house here? I was like curious. My, my son just turned five yesterday. Oh. Oh. Keep, keep the sharp knives. Keep the sharp knives away from him. He only uses it for creamy peanut butter. So we're in good hands. I'm sure he's a very good boy. <laughs> That's pretty good. Excellent, excellent. Well, happy birthday, um, Wesley. Well, very good, yeah. fantastic, Wesley. Wesley's birthday. Is I'm today. hoping you don't read that name later. <laughs> <laughs> Serial killer Wesley was born on this day. Oh, God. Uh, oh my! Next Friday's Aww. next Friday's Friday the thirteenth. We'll have some fun stuff for that. I'm sure. I'm sure the show will go really well. <laughs> it, can't, it can't go any worse, right? Oh my! Well, you're, you sound full of judgment now. No, never, never. No, I'm full of Italian roast coffee. You're full of. <laughs> yes. So yeah, we have some guests. I know, but are we going to break first? Or are we going to break? Do I suppose. Yeah, let's yeah. do breaks. So we right. got to give the union house their full due here. That is very true. We are uh, going off to our national commercial breaks, and thank you for tuning in, everybody. This is the Jack Anke Show from the community room of the Cedarburg Public Library. We'll be back, folks. CPL Radio operates in the Cedarburg Public Library, a community radio station serving Cedarburg, the surrounding communities, and beyond. We receive generous support from the friends of the Cedarburg Public Library and listeners like you. Contact Jeff Messerman at 262-375-7640 to discuss donation opportunities. Thank you for tuning in and supporting community radio in Cedarburg, Wisconsin. And you're back with the Jack Hankey Show, and here's Jack. Judgment-free Jack Hankey Show. This is the part of the show where we stop judging. Yes, we're done judging now. That's only the first part Now we're welcoming. Yes. Yes, (laughs) We're not attacking each other. We're all friends. We're we're inviting our guests. We're all friends again. (laughs) And our guests today are Chris and Maddie. Last name, please. Oh, my uni. Yes. From the Union House Hotel. Is it Union House? Union Union House Cedarburg. Union House Cedarburg. Yeah. Go ahead. You were going to say? Uh, I did write it out phonetically for Jack. So. <laughs> you did a really good job. Thank you. It helped that I, I believe I have done some extensive work with your mother on the uh, Strawberry Fest virtual thing we did. Yes, so uh, yes. we, I, I heard her name a lot. <laughs> so it worked out well. Your mother being the very famous BJ, whom yes. everybody in Cedarburg knows. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney just had an aha moment. Uh, yeah, there you go. So. Did you, she kick you out of something too? <laughs> no. <laughs> right off the main stage. Just, right off just the main. booted her right off. Someone else was performing at the time. <laughs> she kicked her ass off there. All right, so it's just the Beatles. But we're not we're not here to, as as wonderful as BJ is. She's just one of the group that's involved in your new initiative. That's great. And at, um, I did a little homework last night. The Union House Cedarburg um, is a funky interior. I love the lighting. 
There's lounge yeah, it's lounge great. in there. It's yeah, really the cool. The pictures I haven't been in there yet, oh. but uh, the pictures on on Facebook. Uh, I had been in, in the place it was prior, and the change is truly night and day. I mean, you guys really knocked it out of the park in there. It's beautiful. Thank you. I don't know if I'd describe it as funky. That's oh yeah, our goal. Well, well, <laughs> funky's good in my world. I like it. it it's 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 uh, clean and bright. Not too bright, you know, but get too bright in bars and you can see what people really look like. Exactly. <laughs> Which is not always the best thing. So, but uh, why don't you tell us about it? How did, how did you, how did it all start? The, your, your sure. idea and how did it come to fruition? I'm going to let Chris take that over. Okay. okay. Uh, so it actually started as a cookie business, which is where the, the cookies came from. Like, uh, it was originally just we wanted to bring something new to cedarburg something late night and do cookies for delivery and just the cookies yeah. stop are unbelievable i i never had a better peanut butter cookie than the peanut butter reese's pieces yeah deal. it's fantastic that's, that's one of our new ones oh man it's really good and I, the cranberry oatmeal raisin one was fantastic too but that peanut butter one just and the, the insomniacs of the 53012 zip code appreciate the word late night, which you just said, too. Because really, there's right. not much for us to, you know. No, no there's nothing. nothing. There's nothing late night. And I have here. late night bakery needs. Right. So. Exactly. <laughs> so. so can you get cookies delivered late? Right now, no. Okay. Uh, that's something we're going to do in the future. Okay. All right. Uh, I interrupted this. So let's, let's go back to the story. Uh, How did it happen? Tell us. Well, so my background is in the bar industry. Uh, I've been a general manager, operations manager, bartender, server, kind of you name it. Uh, and uh, I was I was ready for something new, mm-hmm. and uh, that that space became available. Which I, most people, I don't know if you know, things don't come up in Cedarburg very often, especially with a, a liquor license to it. So, which is like uh, printing money. Right. I mean, it's... Uh, Gold. Right. I mean, there's there's not many of those available. So uh, it became available, and uh, in a 15-minute conversation, we went from a 400-square-foot cookie business to a bar restaurant. So Excellent. <laughs> Good very, plan. Very yeah. intense 15 gotta be, minutes. Oh, you got yeah. to be flexible. Yeah, I mean, right? like it was a very intense conversation via text message. <laughs> like <laughs> Emojis were flying everywhere. Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, are you effing crazy emoji? <laughs> what did you just say emoji? Right. Yeah. So, so who's who was it? You then that said, "Let's do this." Or yeah, it was. Uh, I think a group decision, but I mean, I was obviously voting for it. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, that being my background. Mm-hmm. But uh, and it's a family. Is it truly a family business? Is everyone is, in the family involved? Yeah. It, Unfortunately. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I knew we could get something we stirred go. up here. Uh, it, it I used to have siblings I talked to. Yeah. It truly is family. Six yeah. minutes into the segment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Excellent. Chris? Our whole staff consists of me, my brother, and my boyfriend. So quite literally, only family. Wow. So. Well, wow. Does the boyfriend know he's family? Yeah. <laughs> he knows he's stuck with me, don't worry. Oh, wow. <laughs> Was that James? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, right. That's James. Nice thing. I remember him. Yep. We used to, I used to play noontime rec basketball. <laughs> yeah, and, he does. and one of the fathers, he was like this little kid who was sitting on the side shooting baskets. Yeah. And uh, now he's serving me daiquiris. Which Pretty sure he's at basketball right now. <laughs> yeah, I bet he is. <laughs> I bet he is. I used to, when I had knees, I could play, but I can't, that's not happening anymore. All right. So everybody, it's an all in the family business. And tell us about the concept. How did you decide on how to decorate it? All that kind of good stuff. Sure. So I got the honor of decorating it. Um, our whole thing was kind of just to bring like more of a city vibe to Cedarburg. You know, you kind of see the same thing over and over, which we love because it's comfortable, but we wanted to bring something that was new, um, that people don't really see all the time here. Um, so both of us live in Milwaukee, so we're kind of used to that kind of a thing and craft cocktails isn't even something that Cedarburg really had to offer beforehand. So we kind of wanted to bring something new and a new vibe and wanted to make it really cozy, but Instagrammable and modern and fun and... You, well know, you know what we call these two? <laughs> Troublemaker. <laughs> <laughs> well, they got to get comfortable. Out the old people. <laughs> Getting picked out of stores in Cedarburg. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess I can attest to I also did get kicked out of a store, too. There uh, we go. Uh, sorry. Was it, was it I, the same cookie that. store? No, it was not the same cookie store. <laughs> <laughs> they shall remain nameless. Back in the day, I used to work at Downtown Doe. What? <laughs> ah. 
Did you, you, did, what did you the, steal from there? No, any recipes? I didn't steal anything, no. but I did work in the basement packing cookies. Oh, oh boy. boy. Where Glamorous do you think the, job. Where do you think the dough came from? <laughs> <laughs> Your parents. Out the back door. <laughs> into the back door. All right. Very good. It's a secret. I, I've, yeah. seen, I've seen Goodfellas. I know how this works. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> So um, fun. So um, when was your first day? Like it was three. Was it longer than three weeks ago? Or how? Uh, first day was officially the twenty third of uh, October. <laughs> and had to think about what month. Time, it time has is. no meaning anymore. <laughs> it's it's November, right. damn it! We right. went through exactly. this. We went through this. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's very cool setup. I love the interior, the decorator, and even when you walk in. Like everybody else, I said, what, what kind of beer do you have on tap? Because you see tappers, yeah. and they are not beer tappers. They are not beer taps. Uh, they are craft cocktails. Uh, so our main focus of the whole space is craft cocktails. Uh, so we do have the four cocktails on draft, and then four to five, depending on the season, uh, time of year. Uh, we'll have them on the menu as well, like handcrafted cocktails. Right. So I'm totally COVID paranoid. But what I'm hearing here, I, when this is all over, I'm going to live here. This is, I didn't know. That. <laughs> this is fantastic. We sanitize. Yes. We got glass panels up. We're, uh, I'm, Jew- I'm Jewish. Okay. Yeah, I'm just way too paranoid. Okay. <laughs> I just, I okay. no, no. Chris just said, I, I, Chris was just about to say, okay, we let Jews in. We'll let anybody in. And then you cut right in. Let him finish. Let him speak. He's the guest, for God's you know, sakes. I'm just saying. He didn't know you're a paniac. You know. you're a, yeah. you know, just a raving lunatic. Oh, totally. But COVID, it, and it, it's an open space. It is an it, open it's space. It's a very, yeah. for a small, it's not the hugest place in the world, but it sure feels open when you walk in. The whole way it's set it up is great. Yeah. I mean, we, we wanted to make people feel as comfortable as possible. Uh, cookie window, uh, which is outside, uh, so you can come get cookies and stuff as long as, or if you don't want to come inside. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we, are, we did think about that as well, you know, obviously opening a business during COVID. Right. A little weird. Good timing. Right? Yeah, it's perfect. It's great. <laughs> so I highly have, recommend it. You have Take co- my money. You have, <laughs> <laughs> you have cookies on the weekends, correct? Is cookies right? on the weekends. Excellent. And what kind of cookies do you have on the menu? Uh, I'll let, I'll let you get that. I'll take it over. I have to work the cookie window all the time. That was a smooth um, move. She just grabbed the mic. You're done. You're I done, bro. Get you're the hook. off. Get the hook. I want to say hi to James out there. I hope you're not playing basketball. Hurt yourself because I, I need you to work tonight. <laughs> Um, okay, cookies. What do we have? We have <laughs> just, <laughs> Shut that guy up. Let me talk cookies. <laughs> now you know why we have so, we, don't have, right. we, we don't have a lot of repeat guests here. No, you it's a one wonder why. <laughs> only, um, we only find some real suckers like these two every once in a while. awesome. <laughs> We're never coming back. <laughs> Cookie list. <laughs> Free next Friday. It's fine. I can handle one more. <laughs> um, here it comes. Yeah, you can come and get chocolate chip we have two new ones i think that came out today which are white chocolate macadamia nut and peanut butter reese's um reese's peanut butter cup chunks are in it that's that that's sense? the one that's, that is the that's, one that's, that's the one. winner that's the winner um, we have plain peanut butter and we also have cranberry oatmeal um uh, walnut that, yeah that's, that's fantastic great. too yeah. that last one and they're it. served warm all the time so that's awesome First that last baked. one's a healthy cookie yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Have another, like have another, of those. Have another drink. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You paranoid Jew. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ask my family, they'll tell you the same. <laughs> no kidding. So um, you've had all kinds, of, you're also, one of the things I love about it is you have a sense of humor because with a, with the purchase of a craft cocktail, what do you get for $1? Only $1. Uh, you get a dollar blatz. How do you like that? I'm moving. I'm going to get my mail delivered here. Airbnb upstairs. <laughs> no drive. Don't drive. We have this many nights open. We also do have a couch in the lounge. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can sleep there. Just If you leave, just lock the door behind you. <laughs> Cookie food coma. Cookies, my, uh, cocktails, and blats for a dollar. I hope my family doctor's not listening. She's going <laughs> to be like, we checked your stats. <laughs> I've been hanging out at the union. <laughs> and and what about the name? How did you can you tell the story of the name, please? Uh, yeah. So the building was originally called the Union House Hotel. 
Uh, so if you actually come inside, the bar used to be the check-in desk of the, the hotel, and then there was a little entryway, which is now the entrance to the Airbnb and some of the apartments upstairs. Uh, but we, we really wanted to just keep the history in the name. Part of the reason why we did the Blatz was the history of the Blatz sign. Yeah. Wanted to keep that. So we, we found the name to just be very fitting. Uh, come unite friends and family and come have a good time. So it, it worked really well. It does. It's an excellent concept to tie in history with funky. And a good, <laughs> and a good, a good funky. And alcohol. Uh, and alcohol. <laughs> I mean, what more could you want? So the most pressing question I had today, which you've kind of already answered, is will you be keeping the Blatz sign? It sure sounds like you're going to. Is that the yeah, uh, classic? Uh, you know? Well, it is a historic like landmark in Cedarburg, so we do have to. Uh, Although we wanted to do something different with it and kind of incorporate it into the space, uh, taking it down is not really an option. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's very cool. What do you care? You won't even go in there until this whole thing's over. They're winning me over. I may actually put my paranoia aside very soon, you, which I'm is huge. You. Do you have any it, idea how what a coup this is it, for you guys? It, it, yeah, really. Glad sign is on. We're open. Uh, there you go. <sighs> yeah, there you go. Like a moth. Rub it in. <laughs> Just fluttering in. <laughs> Just attract to the light. <laughs> oh, this is great. <laughs> I found my new home. <laughs> and you're located right in the historic district on Main Street here in Hooterburg, for anybody who doesn't know where that is. What, just how many doors down from the Rivoli Theater? Uh, two doors down. Two doors down from the Riv. All right. So before you get up into tourist mania, when tourism is, is still manageable on Washington Avenue. Stop in and have a cocktail before you go in and deal with everybody else. Absolutely. Yep. Anything else that we haven't asked you that you'd like to let people know about it? Any events coming up? Any uh, in, in the future, we're going to do some cocktail classes. Uh, there you go. Nice. Do some stuff with some local brands and stuff. So uh, you can check those out on our website as soon as they're available. That, that's the other thing. Oh, go ahead, Chris. You um, we also have I some mean, food Matt, coming sorry. in hopefully about a month or just under. Um, we're going to do small plates and uh, shareable charcuterie boards, things like that. So we're definitely adding on as we go. So just always check back for what we have that's new. I, I, thank you very much because I always that's wanted great. to know how to say charcuterie. And, 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 and yeah. I, I never knew until just now. I took French I'm not trying. <laughs> <laughs> you got their name right. What are you? You're on a roll. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> don't, I've don't done my it. bit for the show already. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one last thing, Chris, you just mentioned another thing you talked about last night was wherever you can, you're working with local uh, products. Yeah. So one of our, our big things is we want to be as eco-friendly as possible in the bar restaurant industry. It's so often that bars and restaurants are not eco-friendly just because it's quite complicated Did you say ego or eco-friendly <laughs> a, little, a little bit of both <laughs> okay uh but i mean we we really want to put an effort into being eco-friendly and and using minimal straws and so if we do use a straw we use paper straws so that also goes into local products we use local products where we can uh, obviously there is some brands that people recognize and and would be upset that we didn't have so we do carry other brands than just local brands but uh we do try and use it where we can what are i know i saw ray Horst. what are some of the other local brands that you use um so we have ray Horst, uh central standard distillery downtown uh we also have black dot vodka it's not a very well-known one but uh it's a wisconsin brand excellent um we also have some twisted path on our shelves uh, and then we also use the full line of Bitter Cube Bitters, which is done uh, in Wauwatosa. Nice. Super cool company. Uh, the owner's super cool, Nick. Uh, kind of a crazy guy. Uh, a lot of fun to hang out with. Excellent. Yeah, those co uh, cocktail classes sound good. I would think people would love to know how to make, you hear these drinks all the time, and actually make the classic cocktails. It's yeah. not just dumping shit in there you know it's i mean it's it, it is a little bit just like a very proportioned out dumping shit into it <laughs> jack's cocktail class dump shit in there okay got it okay slam it dump okay. more shit <laughs> let's go you are off the charts today where your uh, s-bombs my friend you are uh, I'm, uh the hash marks are up to like seven now I think. So, yeah. you are an old fart hash marks God. you can Jeez. still say fart on the air um <laughs> so, Was that like rabbit hash? <laughs> 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 
Yeah, had to bring back well, the rabbit head. For, for us millennials over here, is that like similar to a hashtag? Yeah, or, yeah. Okay. <laughs> a hash and pfeffer tag. It's, it's, an, it's, Uber, it's an Uber hashtag. <laughs> an it's Uber, a major hashtag. Oh, okay. An Uber. <laughs> it's you you can take an Uber home oh, from right. the union house. Well, I got bad news for you. You're going to be wildly successful. This sounds fantastic. I mean, this is really exciting. I, I love what they're doing over there. It's really cool. It's just stay out of there. I like it. <laughs> I like it without you in there. You just stay home with you your ready, five kids. Ready, ready Have for your, fun. Sucker. Ready for your first bar fight? We'll be there. <laughs> well, Chris and Maddie, thanks very much. It's been a lot of fun, and we do wish you well. It's a, it's a great place, and anytime you want to come back, just let us know. Thank you. Yeah, for any promotions thank you. or whatever. Thanks Excellent. for the bakery. That's yes. awesome. awesome. <laughs> so appreciate it. All right, folks, we'll be back with the musical segment of our show. After it's, we interrogate him for a while. We have to interrogate yeah. a little bit first. I, yeah. I, I warned Whitney. I said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the interrogation is it's game on. So, <laughs> All right, folks, here's a commercial. We will be back. Thanks, everybody. CPL Radio is located at W63 and 589 Hanover Avenue, in Cedarburg, Wisconsin, 53012. You can reach us by phone at 262-375-7640. CPL Radio is on the air 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And we are made possible through the kind support of the friends of the Cedarburg Public Library. This is Jeff Messerman speaking for CPL Radio, and I would like to thank you so much for tuning in. Back on the Jack Hackey Show, and as I like to say, that's how I answer the phone, too. You're in breath, yes. (laughs) You ever call Bulldog on the phone? I'm going to talk so fast you don't know this is a Jeff Bolton. Can, can I help you? This is a library. we got to keep things moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, moving, yeah. You know? Everybody's Absolutely. really moving in circulation around here. Around here. <laughs> Here's Jeff. <laughs> well, thank you, Jeff. I'd like to introduce Whitney and Demetra, and they're going to do some songs for us. You are one of the few honored artists who have been back here multiple times. You're almost yeah. like the house band. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well, listen to Creamy. Creamy's always, Creamy always has a comeback. <laughs> Creamy that's Prohaska, that's your name from now on. Another <laughs> hash mark. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> that's what you get for talking up. <laughs> it just comes out. <laughs> Jeff knows all about that. Say like future. banana pudding. <laughs> but... Uh, here to sing some songs. We we love having them on. They are the all time champions of the Bluebird Cafe. That's right. No one else is even allowed to compete anymore. I think they're going <laughs> to they're 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 change it to the Whitney and Demetra Cafe. <laughs> Pull the plug. Yeah. It's and anybody over. that doesn't measure up to them, which is nobody, gets the plug pulled. Oh, gets thrown off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that was Whitney. Yeah, that was, that was just me. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, setting us up here. Thank you. <laughs> but but seriously, we love having you. You guys. Uh, sing beautifully together and we're excited to hear what you have for us today so why don't you you. take it from here perfect we've just got a couple covers feel good songs and so yeah that's what we need (laughs) after two days (laughs) we thought the pandemic was bad (laughs) you good you ready yeah all right Hills where the landslide brought me down. Oh, mirror in the sky, what is love? Can the child within my heart rise above? Can I sail through the changing ocean's tides? Can I handle the seasons? Of my life 
as I build my life around you. But time makes you bolder. Children get older, and I'm getting older too. Well, I'm getting older too. Well, I've been afraid of changing because I. Children get older and I'm getting older too Yeah, I'm getting older too Take this love, take it down If you climb a mountain and you turn around And if you see in the snow-covered hills Then a landslide will bring you down oh, And if you see my reflection In the snow-covered hills Well, the landslide will bring you down oh, And the landslide will bring you Excellent. Beautiful. Thank you. That was great. That was just fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, it's always a fun one. So, uh, And now we're going to bring out some good old country. All right. Woo! Going right into it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We good? Yeah. Okay. Please don't 
don't take my man. Fantastic. Excellent. Thank you. I have a couple questions for you guys. So, oh. when you're singing. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, that's so much work. <laughs> the singing or the question? I have the easy job. She has the to singing. pick guitar. Oh. Well, that's harmonies. why I'm giving you a little break here. Uh, how did you two start performing together? How did that happen? Well, uh, we actually oh. met at. Um, you don't sound too happy about that. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's just so many guys, like, probably. Some days, some days I annoy her, but. <laughs> it's been going on eight years of knowing each other. Eight Is years? Is it eight years? Yeah. Jeez. So how did you decide? I mean, there are a lot of great singers around. How do you decide to work with someone? How do you think you, how does that work? I mean, one day she just contacted me, what, what, what like a year and a half, two years maybe ago? Yeah, maybe something like that. But I mean, like, we, we always knew at, that we wanted to work together. We met at, yeah. where, where was it? I don't even remember. The, Seabird, yeah, the cultural, cultural center. center. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, like, she was playing with all of her sisters, and mm. I came over to your house. Yeah. Like, did you? Yeah, we worked together with your sisters on stuff. Well, I don't remember that. I was <laughs> okay. It's okay. I was. I had a question on her. Let's just, go, let's just go with it. It's okay. I was probably like thirteen or fourteen. I know. Jack I can't remember. keep behind the music. <laughs> it's fine. Um, no, but then, um, yeah, I just thought we've been talking about performing together for so long, and I thought, let's just do it. Let's just start doing it. And so we had an opportunity to sing at um, open mic, mm-hmm. and then competed in that year. Was it that year's? Competition uh, with Best of the Blueberg, mm-hmm. and so yeah, and kind of oh, ever yeah. since then, and we've got a couple, we've got a wedding, I don't know, in a year that we're gonna do, and then we were supposed to go to Montana the last time mm-hmm. we talked, yep. but of course this thing, you know, this big virus that people are freaking out about, so that's been postponed twice. Yeah, <laughs> bought the plane yeah. tickets and everything, so we'll keep you posted on when okay. that's happening. Yeah. Do you guys do a lot of originals? I mean, do you songwrite together, or is that sort of set done separately, or how do how do you? Uh... I mean, we've never like worked on like original material together. Normally, I just work on like my own original mm-hmm. stuff because mm-hmm. I basically write a lot. Mm-hmm. She has. Phenomenal. I have like a lot of original songs. Yeah, I probably started when. I was like 15, 14 maybe, so I've been doing it ever since. She has a YouTube channel, everyone, Demetra Prohaska. Yeah. She's we awesome. Go. We'll get it in the show notes. Definitely. Perfect. Yep, we'll get that out there. Perfect, so. yeah. I mean, I just... I ride in her coattail on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you picked a good I mean, one. I, I know. <laughs> but the duet is always interesting to me because you have to, you have to be a team player, huh. and sometimes you sound like one voice, and then, then you kind of diverge and do your own thing. It works still has to work together all the way through, which is fascinating to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it helps that we both support each other, not only musically, but like we're genuinely friends, which is good. Yeah. And so, you know, it, it works. It just works, yeah. It Excellent. Does. Yeah. That's why this partnership is such a disaster. No, it's we're not it works. It, it works. It works. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off the mic and I'll see you later, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> well, I'll add that to the list. <laughs> it's a good, it's a good see you next week. <laughs> see you at arrangement. See you at 11.59 yeah. next week. <laughs> next Friday. Um, okay, so Perfect. one last question. How do, you, how do you choose the songs to do together versus the ones you do solo? I mean, as far as I'm aware, Whitney mostly picks the ones that we do. Well, I think you'd be aware. You're, you're in a partnership yeah. here. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, she mostly just picks what we do, and then yeah. I just go along with it and learn the songs. We need to talk after the show. Dimitri, you sound very happy about the arrangement. I, I, have, I, have, an, I have an attorney who needs to talk, but he's been working with me. It's, it's good. No. Well, it's funny because originally, when we very first got together, I was... I think it was actually Strawberry Fest. Um, I had I put a band together and I had a list of songs. Well, long story short, we had a member not be able to do it, and so it just kind of fell apart because it was a bass player. And so I thought we, we kind of need a bass for a band to sound legit. And so mm-hmm. then Demetra and I just kind of did it on our own. And I thought this is great acoustic version of versions of these songs. And mm-hmm. we've got like we've got an hour set now, which is excellent, awesome. So, but yeah, so excellent, yeah. Very cool. Okay, excellent. You know, Dolly Parton seldom uh, performs Jolene herself, so it's nice to have that live because apparently 
it's all true. <laughs> She's a little upset Ooh. about Jolene, and, uh, and it hasn't gone away. Uh, best yeah. songs are written from the heart, so. <laughs> Usually, usually not happy either. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, our last song is called Joy Parade. So, okay, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> We're ending on hopefully a happy note. I know. Take us home. Take us home big. <laughs> Take us home happy. We better just end the show after that. Take us to Union House. What time do you guys open? Yeah. I, think, I think we all need a drink. A, a craft cocktail. Oh, yeah. right. Excellent. 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 <laughs> all right. Here we go. They, they did it. Thank you. They, they, they had us end on a high note. They after did. Uh, you, we were through the depths with you, and then well, they brought us back up. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Well, we have it's great sound, guests it was, on. It was. It was, it was really up, beautiful. It was upbeat and beautiful. It was great. Absolutely. From Thank the you. Nashville, from the Nashville TV series, I had to look it up. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. where it's from. Yeah. <laughs> so I was trying to figure out where I've not heard this song before. What I got to find the, yeah. the source. And it's Lynn actually. And Maisie, they've got a lot of. Yeah. They've got a lot of good stuff. That's fantastic. Look. All right. Well, we'd like to thank everybody who joined us today. Absolutely. Chris, Chris and Maddie, Maddie thank you so much. And thanks for the cookies. Absolutely. Excellent. Highly recommendable. Any, you got a last, look like you have a last shot you want to throw in there, Chris. No? Okay. <laughs> you ever have Get, live music? Have us. Yes. Yeah. We'll come. They, they could go sing in the lounge. There'd be lounge yeah. singers. <laughs> Add that to the list. <laughs> How y'all doing, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks to our uh, lovely underwriters, the Java House and Mr. Bob's Under the Bridge. They still looking for a driver on Saturday? <clears throat> well, actually, I'm going to start doing it. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yep. Wow. Not, not uh, whenever I can. All right. So pedal to the metal, eastbound and down. All right. Look out. <laughs> I gotta stop and get a craft cocktail, and I'm, I'm going over there. I got Bloody Marys on tap, so I'm all set. 
Stay off the bre- sidewalks. Breakfast in a cup. I hope you guys have one more song <laughs> during the depths <laughs> again. What, what, Ian, to make sure that was fantastic. That was Thank wonderful. you very much for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for Thank having you. us. Anytime Appreciate you'd like to come back, just let us know. You're we always here welcome. For you. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Lucky we didn't have school today, so I was available. There we go. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 We didn't either. Uh, so, <laughs> all is well. All right, folks. It's the Jack Hankey Show every Friday at noon. We'll be back on live, live streaming on Facebook uh, next week. Uh, I've we heard have, that before. No, no. The, the yeah, things yeah. are looking good. Uh, 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 <laughs> Got to hand crank the laptop to get it going here. So, we'll be good. All right. The Victrola laptop. 